that's all I really remember, man. I woke up 32 months later with a whole ass baby. Like, somebody was having sex with me in a coma. Like, six Ladies and gentlemen, I got a question for you. What do you get when you mix ego, party favors, and sketchy women all in one? Well, you get one of the most interesting backdoor stories you have ever heard. We got a gentleman here, don't know his name, but apparently this man spent 32 months in a coma all because he got backdoored by a woman he doesn't know. Now, you already know what we do on this channel. We like to take a look at these videos, talk about them, and break them down like a fraction. So go ahead, pull up a chair, sit back, chillax with your boy. Let's get into the video. Everybody been asking for this TikTok right here, so I'm going to give it to y'all. My name is James. Um... I got shot in the head back in 2006. How I, uh, I got shot in the head? I got shot in the head from um, doing too much, doing too much showboating. I, um, I pulled out a large amount of money in front of a girl one time back in 2006. And she was like, she was just making phone calls, man. But I, I don't understand. I was off a pill. I was, I wasn't even thinking. That was the last thing I thought that she'd do some shit like that, though. But I hit a couple of turns. And I went to the hood. I'm from 82nd and Birch in East Oakland. I got out of the car. I was talking to a couple of my partners and shit. I got back in the car. She was like, something, something, something. Make sure that shit don't hit me. But I didn't know that that's what she was talking about, though. She had a little skirt on. She was looking good. So, hey, I'm trying to I'm trying to get my freak on. I'm not even thinking about getting killed at this time. I was young. Without even going too far into this, I know, I know, you want me to play the video. I remember I had somebody leave that kind of comment. Oh, why don't you let the video play? Man, shut up. I know we're not that far into the video, but guys, you can't get so caught up in how she looks to completely forget what potentially could happen. I mean, listen, I'm willing to say even for women, and perhaps this happens a majority of the time to women, right? But listen, if women are cautious enough to be leery about who you are and ask you questions to vet you, why don't you do the same thing for women? I'm not trying to paint all women as, as evil, but what makes you think women aren't capable of doing it like this? Use your noggin. He almost lost his. Let's continue. I was 23, but uh, long story short, man, I got back in my car, got to the stoplight up on 82nd and MacArthur, and I get to the stoplight on MacArthur, it felt like a bee sting, man. So I took my hat off. I'm like, it's a bee in the car. She hiding up under the dashboard in the passenger seat. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, man, don't start tripping off the pill. She like, I ain't tripping off the pill. She like, somebody just bust at your car. It scared me when she said that shit because I looked up. My 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 uh, sunroof was broken. The sunroof was broken, man. I just got hella sleepy. I just started laying, putting my head back. And hella shit started rolling from the back of my neck. I did like this and it was blood. I don't know what made me do it, but I stuck both my fingers like this into the hole in my head and I was playing with it like, oh shit. I'm <laughs> nah, nah, that's crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way I'm going to finger my skull after getting clapped. There's no way. That's disgusting. I mean, kudos to him for doing it. I mean, I guess that helped him, you know, properly identify like, hey, I got, you know, popped here. Let me go ahead and go to the hospital so I can like tell them where it is. I, I don't know. I don't know. You let me know in the comments. God forbid something like this happened to you, but let me know in the comments. What would you do? I know for myself, I'm not fingering my skull. That's just, that's crazy. That's nasty work. I was like, oh shit, I'm shot in the head. And I was still able to talk and everything though, but somebody opened the door and punched me in the mouth, man. And they punched me in the mouth. They knocked me out for 32 months. Uh, I don't remember much, no, much more of that. That's all I really remember, man. I woke up. 32 months later with a whole ass baby. Like, somebody was having sex with me in a coma. Like, six Nah, what? Nah, that's the, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Okay, so not only did he get backdoored, he also got, he got great in a coma? First of all, I'm, I'm actually confused. If there's anyone that's a, a doctor, please leave, leave a comment below, but how does that happen? Like, your shit still, it still works. Like, I, obviously, I understand that the body is still fully operational, but I thought you'd have to be conscious to, you know, to get your shit solid. I mean, I, every guy wakes up with the morning wood. Yeah, but I mean, that's not 
I don't think those two things are comparable, you know, like going to sleep and being in a coma are like two wildly different things. But anyway, if you're a doctor and you know about this, please do me a favor, leave that in the comments below. And also, if you're watching the video, you find it entertaining. Listen, you probably haven't done this already, but just do me one favor. Do yourself a favor too while you're at it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notifications. We come out with videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we got shorts in between that time. And the community is popping, man. Community's popping. We're 9.6 strong. We're trying to get to 10K and we could use you as well so come on in come join and yeah let's get back to it and um long story short just don't just don't uh don't be flashing money in front of girls man especially girls from oakland that can be girls from anywhere you can do some shit like that too you know for real but this is why i wear the helmet 32 month coma i wear the helmet because i don't have a skull and my head is made of clay i got clay around my brain so if this is to protect me from having seizures Somebody can punch me in my head and just kill me. Easiest, but I hopefully that don't happen. That's why I do comedy. Just stay making friends. Stay making more friends. <laughs> Yo, can you imagine having a clay head? That's crazy. That's so crazy to me. I, there's there's more for me to play out of the video, but I, I just I had to pause it real quick because I mean, dog, that's wild. A clay skull. Now you mean to tell me you went from potentially getting some poontang to now ending up in a coma, waking up 32 months later with a baby because you got assaulted in a coma and now you have a clay head? All of this is from just hanging out from with one random woman that you just met? Nah, fellas, we gotta be way more cautious. You have to vet your woman. You have to ask the questions that could reveal her character. Or, I mean, for lack of a better word, just, you know, don't interact with certain females. Now, before you get upset, that's not me saying you gotta, you know, avoid certain females of ethnic, uh, different ethnicities, excuse me, or whatever the case may be. That's not what I'm saying at all. But what I'm saying is, if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it probably is a fucking duck. Stay making more friends instead of making more enemies. I'd rather make friends than enemies. Like, I used to be hood, but I don't want to be hood no more. I just want to be a dude that's just do comedy, man, make people laugh. That's all I care about is making, bringing a smile to somebody else's face and makes me laugh. Damn, dog, that's all you can care about. Because <laughs> if you got static with anyone, you're a soft target. <laughs> Quite fucking literally. Like, all man's has to do is go to a bar one time, get into one argument with someone, and then just get hit in the head with a Heineken. <laughs> and it's over. It's a done deal. Man, there is so much shit to unpack here, ladies and gentlemen, particularly my guys. And this is a mano y mano conversation. Listen, gentlemen, I know sometimes we get lonely and sometimes we want female company. And let's be real about it. Obviously, we have our standards, but if we're constantly being rejected, we all know what happens. The quality of said female that you're after, excuse me, I don't mean female, I mean woman. Apologies, ladies. But the woman that you're after, the qualities that you had before, those standards, they start to degrade over time simply because you're getting rejected. Fellas, no amount of poontang is worth risking your life over. With the invention of social media and dating apps, it's very easy to link up with virtually anyone around the world or you know anyone that you probably haven't seen in your local area. But I ask you, is your life not worth getting to know this person in a proper setting? And I mean, listen, one could make the argument that, you know, even if he had vetted her and, you know, she hid this part of her character or just didn't disclose that she knew these kind of people, it could have happened anyway. Probably true. However, here's what I would say. Fellas, if you're going to flash money, and this is in particular for my black men, guys, if you're going to flash money, please expect some sort of static. Please. Like you have to. My question to you is, what is the point of flashing the money? You know, and listen, James might have had tons of reasons as to why he wanted to do it, but you really have to ask yourself if you're that type of person who likes to flash money, like, what is the motive? What do you get out of it? Me personally, I would rather you think I'm broke for good reason, because that means I'm less likely to get robbed. I would rather you think I'm broke. In fact, I want you to think I'm poor as fuck because that lets me know your true character and that gives me the opportunity to really understand who you are as an individual. Because if I walk around, you know, all spliffed out, looking nice, wearing designer brands, X, Y, and Z, whatever the case may be, this is going to give a perception to someone else, a perception of me to them, which might open the door for any sort of nefarious activity. That's just my opinion. 
I want to hear your opinion. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Guys, come on, let's make this a community. Let's talk about this because the only way we're going to be able to fix these issues is if we talk about them constructively and then we figure out solutions for the current problems that we're all facing. The dating landscape doesn't have to be a hellhole and Let's be honest, just society in, in itself doesn't have to be a hellhole, realistically. However, we all know that there are certain challenges that we all have to work through as a unit, as unfortunate as that may sound. But anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to check out another one of these videos. Hit the links in the description below. Share this video with the homie. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.